Welcome. I'm Dr. Darrell Matthews, founder of Africa Vital Living and associate pastor at the First Baptist Church of College Hill in Tampa, Florida. I'm excited that you're considering making the journey to Malawi the warm heart of Africa. A short-term mission trip is one of the most exciting faith steps that you can take. And I can assure you that once you go to Malawi and see what the Lord is doing in a distant land, your life will never be the same. I've developed this DVD to share with you what to expect as you prepare to go to the mission field. I hope to expose you through pictures and videos to Malawi and the conditions you can expect to see when you get there. I will share with you some of my on-site video journal entries, as well as showing you the breathtaking scenery in Malawi. You are to be commended for taking this step of faith. Through this DVD, I hope to ease any concerns you might have in traveling to Malawi, especially if this is your first time going to Africa. So get yourself a favorite beverage, sit back, and take this journey with me. Time is about 12.30. We are here at the airport. Our bags have checked in as we begin the uh, Malawi uh, adventure. Um, the whole team is here. We've got Hope. Uh, Hi. Uh, we've got uh, Deacon Joyner and uh, Sister Bernie and uh, Sister Martha are all here. God be praised. Now, the leader was the last one here today. Okay. Uh, so the last shall be first, the first shall be last. Uh, that certainly was in place, <laughs> in place today. But God be praised. It's not a madhouse here. Um, you know, as we can see, not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of folks, so going out on a Wednesday seems to be a pretty good uh, good deal, which is nice. Uh, we can relax, get up to D.C., and, um, you know, get checked in and relax up there. So we're just touching base. We're waiting for uh, Sister December to uh, to come before we go upstairs um, and make our way to the, to the gate. So we'll check in a little bit more and give you some more uh, info as we go along. Time is uh, 7.07 .07 on this uh, Wednesday uh, evening, the uh, 15th. Uh, we have finally made it into the uh, hotel, We're staying at the Comfort Inn um, and Suites. A very uh, nice, uh, nice room uh, here. Let me see if I can flip my... No, I can't flip my camera. So I can't uh, really show you. Well, I can. I'll, I'll just kind of pan it. Pretty, uh, pretty nice room. Desk and everything. More bed than I uh, than I need, but I cannot complain. Uh, looks to be very comfortable. We have placed uh, an order this evening for some uh, hot wings and salad and a bottle of water. We uh, uh, hope to uh, have that in about forty minutes. In the meanwhile, I will uh, do another periscope. Uh, since I did not do my midday um, today, uh, we'll do it uh, this evening. Uh, the last reliable one that I'll be able to do before uh, we take off on tomorrow. And so it's been a great day today. Um, you know, God's favor has been all over this uh, trip uh, so far. Time is uh, 7.55 on this uh, Thursday. We have just uh, finished uh, breakfast uh, and are getting ready to uh, take our bags down and check out of the room so that we can head over to the uh, to the airport. Kind of a, a drabby day uh, today um, in uh, the D.C. area. Let's see, a bit overcast. Uh, but we're rested and ready to uh, take on the day. So let me get downstairs. Our uh, next shuttle should be leaving about 8 o'clock, and I want to get over to the uh, to the airport so we can get checked in. Don't know what security is going to hold today, but we're praying for God's favor. We'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Time is uh, 8.51, and uh, just come through the uh, Ethiopia check-in, which was uh, quite... Uh, Quite a long line, you can kind of see. Uh, 
behind me. Uh, and uh, we're just glad we got through. Actually, it went. They, they, they're processing the people very good. Uh, one of the things this year is we didn't have to uh, take our bags down to the end of the terminal and drop them off at the TSA uh, group. They were just taking the bags uh, and uh, checking them through. So uh, phase one of uh, the check-in process is uh, complete. We are headed to the uh, West Security Checkpoint. Uh, so that we can go through the TSA security piece, and we'll see how uh, we'll see how that piece goes. Uh, but we got some time. When I got here this morning and saw that line, I was a little bit concerned. But God be praised, they were processing the people very well, and I got upgraded to first class uh, on uh, the flight from here to Addis Ababa. So uh, at least we'll be um, relaxed a little bit. Uh, amen, amen. So we'll uh, talk to you a little bit later. Well, time is uh, 10.51, and uh, we have uh, boarded on the plane here. I was hoping that uh, it would be kind of empty, like, uh, well, I shouldn't say empty, but last week, Brother Jimmy and uh, Mary Beth and Jim Ludi had some uh, empty seats uh, next to them when they're traveling. It's not looking like we're going to have any uh, or a lot of empty space uh, this go-round. But we're, uh, we're in our seat. Can't complain. And um, just thankful to finally uh, found our home for the next 15, uh, 15 hours. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're just looking forward to uh, getting underway and relaxing a little bit. We'll talk to you a little later.
Well, we have uh, just arrived uh, here in uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and uh, uh, my heart is full of joy to be back on uh, African soil once again. The team has uh, made it uh, quite well, and we're getting ready to uh, board uh, and look forward to the final leg going to Malawi. Talk to you again soon. God bless. Time is uh, 7.01 uh, Ethiopia uh, time. We're I've just arrived at the uh, Addis Ababa uh, airport and uh, had a, a very a nice journey, a uh, long flight from uh, Washington to, uh, to Ethiopia, but we thank God for uh, getting us here safely uh, without incident. Uh, always cracks me up when we land, everybody uh, applauds, uh, which I guess is a good thing. We just are grateful that God has uh, gotten us here. Uh, so far, uh, we've got about a two-hour wait before um, we make it uh, before we take our next flight uh, from Addis to uh, the long way. Uh, so in the meanwhile, um, uh, we're just going to uh, relax here uh, in the waiting area, uh, look around a little bit. Uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of people uh, traveling uh, thus far. Uh, we're going in at a different gate, it would appear, uh, than we have you know, in the past. Uh, normally we have to go downstairs and uh, then uh, catch a bus out to the uh, to the plane, uh, but at least according to our ticketing, the gate, uh, we're already here at gate uh, two, uh, and the plane is going to come right up to the gangway, and we'll be able to walk on. So, uh, with each uh, leg of this journey, uh, we're experiencing something new that we've not experienced uh, before. Uh, but we thank God for His safe traveling uh, mercies and grace that we have made it uh, uh, here thus far. I look forward to this uh, last leg. Uh, of the journey. Pretty well rested. Uh, I was able to sleep uh, very well on the flight from uh, D.C. Uh, to here, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I'll probably do some more sleeping uh, uh, going uh, to the long way. So, uh, God be praised. We'll talk to you later. Here at the airport. Um, so we're just thankful to uh, 
be here in Malawi one more time. Looking forward to see what the Lord is going to do through this uh, special group uh, that has arrived. Uh, and we are just, uh, just thankful. Uh, it's a common with the, uh, the way in which we say thank you uh, in Malawi. It's a channel, actually. So anyway, uh, a little tired. Uh, didn't sleep too well on this particular uh, journey. Nonetheless, so we'll talk to you a little bit later. We uh, get checked in at Dallas. God bless.
stinking Wi-Fi was on and off. And I noticed I was texting. We took a picture of us. Remember the picture we took? Yeah. I couldn't get it to go through, but it would take the... Yeah, I couldn't get any Wi-Fi at JFK. Nope. Yeah, you know you got a switch airports coming back. Yep. I know. How are you going to get to the other one? I've got a, a, a pass out of paid for a transfer. Oh, yeah. Airport to airport transfer. You go to JFK to LaGuardia or something? Uh, yeah. Newark. No, Newark. Oh, Newark. Okay. Hey, uh, see, we, we, when I was with IC, we did that two or three times. They actually chartered a bus. Oh, yeah. Every time I flew into New York, it seemed like that's how we go. I had to see that or I had to wait till the next day to fly on. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I already I already paid for my transfer. Got a, got a receipt. What's that? It's all awesome. tech. Remember this building here? Yeah. Remember it took them about five years to build that or to get that thing even close? Reach around. Preacher owns this, this hotel, right? Sonoma Hotel. Yeah. yeah. He said, yes, yes, yes. He said preacher.
Yes, I did. Time is 3.40 on uh, this Friday afternoon, and we have finally made it to the uh, Mesa, Mesa Lodge. Uh, we're getting our rooms, and then uh, 
be going out with uh, Brother Jimmy a little bit later, in a little while, go get some water, get some other things. So we'll uh, see how things are, are going. Looking at our, our brother here with the, uh, with the van, we don't think that he's going to have the clearance to get under this, uh, this little overpass. So um, he's going to have to back. He's going to have to back out. Um, but let's like go it. inside and uh, uh, get our room assignment, and then we'll uh, talk to you a little bit later. Four or five on this Friday afternoon, and we've uh, finally got checked into our room. We are in room uh, nine uh, this year, which happens to be at the very end of the long, long hall. <laughs> Uh, so we've gone from one, one extreme to the other. Last year I was in the first room, uh, just as you come in the main hall uh, down here. But um, we're thankful. Looks like a nice, uh, nice room. Uh, they did give me a, a, a towel, which I'm uh, thankful. But. Um, you know, one of the things about going to the mission field is you've got to be flexible. Uh, you cannot come, uh, you know, with all of your American sensibilities. Yeah, you want some things to be decent, but it's not going to be uh, the way it is uh, in the U.S. Um, you know, when I got here, uh, here I've got a shower. But what do you see that's missing? There's no shower curtain, <laughs> but that's not a big deal. If we have hot water this year on a regular basis, I'll take the shower. I'll take the shower without um, without the shower curtain. That will be just uh, just fine. Um, you know, again, I think about our sensibilities. Uh, looks like our towel rack is actually missing a towel. And uh, if I have to uh, do a number two, I'm going to have some problems there because I don't have a seat. So, <laughs> uh, needless to say, um, over these next uh, 11 days that we're in country, uh, it'll be very interesting. But um, I still enjoy this place. It's only uh, $13 a day, so it can't, you can't. Uh, beat that for, for something that you know I'm not spending a whole lot of time uh, here come come Monday now tomorrow is kind of a slow day uh, Sunday we do go out um, but in the afternoon we'll be back here for most of the most of the day and um, so you know I'm, I'm I'm not complaining not complaining at all grateful for uh, again the Lord just getting us here safely um, without incident and um, we're going to go get some water in a little while with Brother Jimmy, uh, keeping an eye on the things that he's doing so that I can uh, be an effective leader uh, for uh, next year's uh, mission trip uh, in August. And so we get some water, we're going to get some dinner, um, and we already got um, the SIM cards. My iPhone 4 is online and running, uh, so we thank God for that. And... Um, other than that, uh, God is good. I can't complain. I'm thankful for all that he has done so far in this journey. And we'll uh, share some more with you as we go along. Talk to you later. Morning on this uh, Saturday, June the 15th. It is uh, 9 37 uh, in the morning. Uh, what a glorious day it is uh, here in the long way at Nellie's guest house. Uh, we've had a refreshing uh, night's sleep, uh, and we're looking forward to uh, our kickoff rally, which is going to begin uh, this morning. Uh, we'll be leaving here about 10 o'clock, uh, going over to Holy Dwelling where we will uh, gather our, with the people of God, our interpreters. Uh, we'll have a time of uh, worship and praise, as well as um, meeting um, uh, all the different mission teams uh, together. And so we look forward to that time. Uh, we've had a good breakfast this morning, and uh, I'm just ready to take on the day. Uh, I've got all my, uh, my gear on, as well as my uh, camera. And so we're just looking forward to uh, seeing um, 
uh, some old friends, uh, friends that we won't be with as much uh, this year because we're not, I'm not a whole, holy dwelling. Uh, uh, Kivana and myself will be serving uh, at a new church plant called Antioch, uh, and uh, Arshana will be at Shady Dale. Uh, so uh, kind of a new faith journey this go round because we will be in new, uh, new surroundings. Uh, but following the um, uh, kickoff rally, one of the things that uh, Pastor Booker is going to uh, take me to is a well that uh, when I was with him last year was uh, broken and dysfunctional, and we were able to send some, some funds to uh, help get that well up and running with the spare parts that it needed. So we look forward to uh, seeing uh, that well uh, after the worship service and see that it's working uh, properly. So anyway, that's kind of what's, uh, what's happening. The girls uh, are still kind of uh, rustling from their, uh, from their sleep. They had breakfast earlier, um, and so uh, everyone's kind of meeting under the uh, gazebo, uh, and uh, soon we'll be uh, departing for, um, for Holy Dwelling. So just wanted to touch base with you this morning let you know what's going on. Uh, God be with you, and uh, <laughs> thanks for your prayers. God bless. Come on, come on, come on, come on.